Sup guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at Von Miller. He is, uh, well he's a, basically a Hall of Famer, that's for sure. Um, but he has found himself at number 93 on the list. Now I don't know why that is, uh, whether it's because he underperformed or whether it's because they didn't like him trading himself, not trading himself, but getting traded, or, well, um, asking for a trade? I'm not even sure. Look, the only thing I know is that uh, I saw a meme which really cracked me up. And I actually reposted it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was he went to bed being a Chicago Bear. Uh, a Chicago Bear? No, it was um, a Bronco. Sorry, Broncos, Broncos. He went to bed at like uh, 3 and 4 and he woke up at 7 and 0 being a Ram. You know what I mean? And I thought that was crack up. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, they went on to lose the next three. But uh, as we all know, they went on to win the Super Bowl. So uh, good on him. He's in the top 100 again. He deserves it from what I'm led to believe. He's an absolute behemoth. And um, let's see what's up. Old V-Dog. Big, big Von Miller. Big, uh, yeah, old, old Millsy. Millsy, we'll call him. Um, listed as playing for the Bills. We haven't seen him suit up for them yet. But, uh, yeah, like I said, he went through a couple of you know trades and blah, blah, blah. Got a Super Bowl ring. Um, uh, that might actually be his second Super Bowl ring. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, let's get into it. Good game, my boy. Hey, good start, yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Hey, stay healthy, man. Yes, sir. You're still going. You still look good. good. I'm thinking 6'3", 255. Yeah, we'll call it two, 6 3 two fifty. Uh, Texas A&M from 7 to 10. Picked up in the first round of the 2011 draft with pick number 2. Went to the Broncos, 2011 to 2021. That's a 10-year career. Went to the Rams for one year or half a year. And now he's he's gone to the Bills. Um, obviously sees you know the talent in the Bills. Sees the, you know, the, the way that this team's coming of age. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes... If he goes with the Bills to uh, another um, Super Bowl win, which would in fact be his third. He is an absolute fucking monster. And let's see what he's got to say. Man, I, I, I don't know, man. As long as they're still paying, I'm going to keep going. Excuse me? Man, I... I... Yes, sir. Hey, stay healthy, man. Yes, sir. You're still going. You still look good. How many years you got left? Man, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. As long as they still paying, I'm going to keep going. Oh, he's been in there since 2011, so let's be fair. I mean, he's he's exceeded the um, expectation of an NFL player by a mile. Yeah, I like to watch Von. Von Miller is a good guy, but everyone can't do what he does. Hall of Famer. First ballot, I'll say. I'll put it out there. Lawrence yeah, no B doubt. And Shaq Von Miller. Be greedy. Don't give him nothing. Don't give him nothing. Don't give him nothing. Von Miller is a unique player, and not just because he likes the band Megadeth, but because in 2021, it didn't matter if he was on the Denver Broncos or the Los Angeles Rams. Von Miller proved again why he is among the best in the NFL. Some of his moves, what he does at the point of contact, I'll definitely watch. What makes Von so special is the, is the way that he could bend the... Jerry Judy. Now that is a name I forgot because I put my head in the sand for the last six months. But it's a name that I enjoy. Um, just as much as, you know, your um, Jamar Chases and your Justin Jeffersons, Jerry Judy, and, you know, uh, what's his name? CeeDee Lambs. He's up there. Uh, how flexible he is, I feel like that's what makes him so special. He's sacked by Von Miller. Von is like a cat. He's kind of a pest when he's rushing, you know what I mean? He does stuff like like a, like stuff that just kind of would aggravate you. It's look how big that motherfucker is! Like seriously, look look at this guy. Like, like, a, 
like stuff. Oh my god! I tell you what, just just having that little headshot really does not do the man justice. Look how big he is. That is ridiculous. I've never seen a pair of shoulders that wide in my entire fucking life, except if it's Big Rami on the fucking Mr. Olympia stage. So just Holy kind of shit! You as an offensive lineman, like you know, cancel, knock stuff off the table. Von Miller's pass rush is kind of likened to that. Denver rushes four, deep drop. Here comes Von Miller. Miller's got him. Why? <laughs> Why do he do that? They snap it back to Garoppolo. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yeah, cats cats love uh, throwing things off the, the counter, don't they? Rams bring the blitz. They hit him. Get off. And now you're picking it up and the cat will knock some It's like not a second thought. Just 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 get up. Get out of my way, please, peasant. So the table does work. Oh mate, that's funny. Wants to spin it. He's hit. He's knocked down. And there goes his third second day. I'm fast enough to get there, you know what I'm saying? Alright, speaking of speed. What do we got here? Pre draft measurables 453 for the 40 yard dash, weighing in at 246 pounds. Uh, 6 foot 3. 37 inch on the vertical, 10 foot 6 on the broad jump, 21 reps on the bench. Look, if we're just talking about 40 yard dash speed, 453. At 112 kilograms and six foot three, that is, uh, yeah. Put him in at running back. That's all I can oh, say. Yeah. Alongside Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald, playoff Vaughn led the Rams on a Super Bowl run. Falls on the deck. Rams cover it up. Hey, Vaughn showed up for us. I think we ain't done yet. <laughs> Once a Super Bowl MVP with the Broncos, Miller's two sacks in Super Bowl 56 made him only the second player to ever have multiple sacks in multiple Super Bowls. Von Miller! Yes! You're telling me there's no one from the Patriots dynasty that's got two sacks in any uh, Super Bowl more than one. Does that make, does that make sense? Oh, sorry guys. Continue. He knew what it took to win. Miller's four and a half sacks in Super Bowls is tied with Charles Haley for the most career sacks in the big game, despite playing in three fewer Super Bowls. The Los Angeles Rams are world champions. Ah. I was happy for him. This still showing the world that. Tell you what, one of the one of the main players I was really happy for is Andrew Whitworth. You know, he got a Super Bowl at 40 years of age. And was able to, able to retire at the absolute peak, the pinnacle, winning a Super Bowl. So respect to him, and um, you know I'm sure he's um, appreciative of Von Miller and his efforts throughout the year. He's still, you know, one of the best. You're a friggin' ball. Hey, I, I love you, man. I was even more happy to see him sign with Buffalo because I think that's what Buffalo was missing. Bills Mafia, what's up, baby? <laughs> his you don't know what's coming. <laughs> From what I'm led to believe, the Bills Mafia is pretty fucking intense. But uh, they're going to absolutely love him. So guys, thank you for watching. Head down into the description box below. Um, check out the different ways to support the channel. Um, without you guys, this channel would be nothing. And um, let's get into it. Tyron Smith. Look, if I don't see RB or, or WR or QB um, as the... Uh, you know player coming up I'm, I'm kind of disappointed but left tackle the more years the, the more time I, 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 I spend watching this game the more I realize just how important that position is and just how important every single position on the on the on the field is so it might not be the most exciting position but uh, if you're a quarterback and your left tackle ain't doing their job well you can't do shit so thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one peace